remember, I think that was the second straight one that uh, all five of the starters had double, scored double figures. Just what do you think about the balance you are playing with right now? Um, I mean, I think that's something we've been trying to do uh, all year. Um, and I think it helps, you know, when shots are falling. Uh, so I just credit it to the team, um, believing in what our coaches want us to do and going out and execute. I mean, this, this team just has a lot of talent up and down the roster. Um, what are just your thoughts on, like, all, all the different guys who are just good NBA players you guys can, can throw on people on a night-to-night basis? Uh, it's a luxury for sure. Um, you know, to have guys that can come out, defend almost one through five. Like, we, we, we switch a lot. Um, and, and we trust the guys that are on the ball defending and offensively, we just kind of play in the flow. Uh, we try not to force a lot of actions. Um, we just try to read and react, and I think we, we've been doing a good job of that of late. Yeah, we've talked to Coach a lot about the uh, progression for that starting five and trying to figure things out with you guys, I guess. Uh, this was probably one of y'all better performances this night, uh, I guess. What do you think really worked with y'all, especially to start the game and jump onto that big lead? Uh, getting stops and playing fast, I think, helped the most. Uh, we get out in transition. We have, you know, more opportunities to score, and then we get more possessions, um, which leads to, you know, the high scoring nights that we have. Um, but I think it all all starts on the defensive end. And, and has that kind of been the message from Coach, kind of figuring things out with that starting five as it kind of started with the defensive end? Yeah, I mean, you know, you start games out, you may not be clicking offensively um, as well as you do later on in the game, like, you know, Normally, guys have to settle into the game, uh, but if you come out and get stops early and you score uh, at a moderate rate, I think, you know, as long as we're getting stops, we'll be okay. I heard to your point about playing with a lot of pace. Has that been a big emphasis? I know CJ brought it up earlier in the week. Coaches talked about it. How important is it for you guys to play with such a high pace, like playing off of your defenses, getting out and running as much as you can? I think uh, it's super important. Um, like I said, we get stops, we get out in transition. Transition, it gives more guys opportunity to create for others. Uh, and I just, you know, as long as we stay consistent in that, uh, knowing it starts on the defensive end, I think we'll, we'll be okay moving forward. And Herb, I've got to ask you, since your perspective is out there on the court, Zion seems to, you know, either whether he gets fouled or not, whether the whistle gets blown or not, but sometimes it can even lead to him. Like tonight, he picked up a technical argument. When the replay showed, he clearly got grabbed from behind. Why do you think it's so difficult for him to be officiated a little bit more fairly? I try not to get into the like the uh, like the calls. Uh, I just know to go out and hoop. Uh, you know, they don't call it. There's nothing we really can do about it. Uh, but I mean, and I credit the Z. I think he, he he gets he probably gets fouled a lot more than they call. Um, he does a great job of trying to play through it, even though I know it gets frustrating. But I mean, the only thing we can do is, you know, play as hard as we can, live with with the results. Thanks, I appreciate sure. it. Thanks for you. Yep, I'll take it.